Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'll be watching some more Vampire Diaries. I'm at season 3 episode 15 and this one is titled All My Children. So you know last episode she did the ritual of like binding them all together so that if one dies they all die. And it's like the best way to kill Klaus I guess but she wants to undo all, everything that they did. Uh, by the way, I haven't been really advertising my Patreon on uh, YouTube a lot, but there is a Patreon page and as for Vampire Diaries, I am always half a season ahead, so I post twice a week on there as well. So like, if you're interested, then go check it out. What? Hey, I, I called you ten times last night. We need to talk. Sorry, I've been busy. If you're mad at me, Damon, you need to get over it. Oh, I'm over it. Oh, God, that's true! <laughs> oh, my God. She's happy. Rebecca's so happy right now. This is how you lash out at me? Well, maybe, for once, something I did had nothing to do with you. You should know. Ow. That Esther's planning on killing her entire family. She's linked them all together with a spell. Whatever happens to one happens to all of them. That's great. Klaus will finally be dead. We win. <laughs> Don't do anything to screw this up, Elena. Why are you doing this? He's right, you know. Klaus has to die, they all do. See? It's democracy in action. No. I don't agree. I was hoping you might accompany me. I want to show you something. I would follow him anywhere. I admire you, Elena. You remind me of qualities I valued long before my mother turned us. It's not in your nature to be deceitful, and yet, when I asked you about your meeting with my mother the other night, you lied to my face. It's not true. I told you that all your mother wanted was a new start. I can hear your heartbeat. It jumps when you're being dishonest. When you lied to me at the ball, you are lying to me now. Tell me the truth. I never wanted this to happen. What? Elena. It's not just Klaus she wants to kill. She wants to kill us all, doesn't she? Did you say fuck? <laughs> she wants to undo the evil she created. I wish there was something I could do to help. There is. You know, one thing I've learned in my time on this earth. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Where are we going? Bennett Witches. Thank you for coming. I could think of no better allies than the woman who sent Michael into his long sleep and the girl who fought Niklaus so bravely. Why exactly did you invite us here? You are the descendants of the witch Ayana. She was a great mentor of mine, and I think it's only fitting that I draw from her bloodline. My sisters, we shall bring peace to the spirits of nature that we serve, and for that, I thank you. Are they gonna survive it? Going somewhere? Oh, what are you she doing here? Not much. Unless you try to run. In which case I get to kill you. I can't find her anyone. Aww. Witches that release my mother. She's drawing her power from their bloodline. That line needs to be broken. Broken? Yeah, he means... You want us to kill them. You know, I do it myself, but... I have absolutely no idea where they are. If you do not stop her before then... Rebecca will kill Elena. So we all have our timeline. I suggest you get started. Date. Do you think I want to spend what could be the last few hours of my life having idle chit chat with a girl who literally stabbed me in the back? Of course not. But for some reason, everybody seems to want to bend over backwards to save your life, which is incredibly annoying, but makes you the perfect hostage. So why don't you sit down 
and shut up before I ruin everything by ripping your head off. If we think back, she said that her biggest flaw as a human was that she was stubborn. And she is so stubborn, she just can't let it go. She will forever <laughs> hold a grudge <laughs> uh, because Elena stabbed her in the back. So like I was just gonna say, she's blowing this out of proportion, like get over it, but she really can't. <laughs> oh, Rebecca. I'm really stubborn too, so I get it. We just don't have the same problems, I guess. First we'll need a little blonde distraction. Oh, yeah! Yeah, girl! She looks like a taste. Say another word and I'll tear up your liver. Caroline. Oh, it's you. Join us for a drink. Oh my god, he likes her so much. I'd rather die of thirst. Thanks. <sighs> she just love. walked in and walked out? A little spot. I'm over it already. Oh, well, I'm not. Well, how can I quit myself? You and your expensive jewelry and your romantic drawings can leave me alone. They make me feel all fuzzy inside. Ooh. Oh. So what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about you. You just said get to know me, but who wants to talk about you? Too smart to be seduced by you. Well, that's why I like you. I'm Cole. Why don't you get lost, Cole? And why would I do that? I like pretty little things with sharp tongues. I'm pretty sure she told you to get lost. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Sure I don't care. Cole. Next time, dig in. years ago. Enough. All this talk is boring me. 
End this now, Mother, or I'll send you back to hell. Only if you can't stop her. I have to find another way. Stop here a second. Sisters, do not abandon me. Her voice is funny. Do not abandon me. Damon turned your witch friend's mother into a vampire. What? Quite clever, actually. They needed to sever the witch line, and, well, you can't be a witch and a vampire. Everything that happened tonight was to save you. And that's okay. Again. She loves you so much. But somehow she's always the one who gets hurt. If I'm here right now. that I love her, okay? Of course I will. <laughs> Lost that coin toss, Damon. Should have been me who turned Abby. Why'd you do it? Because I'm not blind. I see what's been going on around here. You're hanging by threads, Stefan, barely over your last ripper binge, and all you want is to be the old Stefan again. You know, you're not fooling anyone either. You still love her, Damon. Of course he does. Can't just stop loving someone like the next I day. And I thought I could win her from you fair and square. She didn't want me. It's for the best. I'm better at being the bad guy anyway. Today I did things I abhor to protect the one thing I value most. My family. If anyone can understand it, it's you. Your compassion is a gift, Elena. Carry it with you, as I will carry my regret, always and forever. Elijah. Oh, Elijah. Oh. I thought you'd have gone by now. Look at the images on the wall behind Elena. The natives told the story of our family history. Look at the images on the far wall. Is it? A native worshipping at the great white oak tree. This can't be right. A white oak tree 300 years after we fled back to the old world. There must have been a sapling, a new tree to replace the old. That tree could kill us. It's not over, Nick. Where is, is he gonna discover? You weren't supposed to see that. Oh! <laughs> no, there will be no shooting of Alaric. Except there was. But hey, yeah, this episode is really good. It was exciting. I'm glad that the mom didn't get to finish, like, do the thing she was. Uh, she wanted to do all along, you know, to kill all of them. But, um, yeah, we saw moments with Rebecca and Elena. And Rebecca's really, like, she has a grudge against her. And I'm not sure it's only because Elena stabbed her in the back. Like, it has to do with the fact that Stefan is in love with Elena. That, like, everyone just wants to save Elena and everyone loves Elena. She, like, never had that. You know, she never had friends around her that would give up their lives to fucking save her. And she, you know, it's just, it feels like she's kind of envying Elena a little bit. And, you know, she was in love with Stefan at some point, And Stefan got his memories taken away. And when he got them back, he was already in love with Elena. And when she asked him like do you think you'll ever love a girl as much as you love this this one girl and he said maybe but she knew he was lying so like it feels like elena stole that from her and i f feel like that's kind of why she's mad at elena too like it's not just because she daggered her because you know like your brother daggered you multiple times so like 
you know, and she's really stubborn, so she just can't let it go. But there's also this coming into play. So yeah, I'm really excited for what's coming. I know I always say that, but it's because it's true. Every episode, I'm just a little bit more excited, and especially like at the end of a season. So yeah, that was season three, episode 15. All my children it was really good, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching.